Well, hello everyone and welcome to IBC 2013. My name is Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle and we are going to be looking at Imagineer Systems Mocha Pro. So what we're going to be dealing with over the next 20, 30 minutes is we're going to be taking a look at this shot here. So we have our uh, little crane shot uh, of the girl going up very slowly. And it's, it's a nice shot, but we've got a few things that are complicating it. Uh, for the first thing, the crane is slightly wobbly. So we've got a little bit of jitter going on in the crane and we're going to stabilize all that out. Uh, and what we're also going to start to do is we're going to start to do a little bit of reshaping on the girl's face as well. So what I want to actually demonstrate is how we can use uh, masks and rotor splines in a slightly different way here. And if we've got time, what I'm also going to do is if we take a look at the top left hand corner up here, we've actually got a, uh, a bit of a gap going on there. So uh, I'm going to come in, I'm going to fill, fill that gap in. Um, and just sort of, yeah, tidy everything up a little bit. So let's, uh, let's take a look. We won't do the whole shot. We'll do like the last 100 frames of this one. So the problem that I've got here is that as uh, what I actually usually want to do with this uh, is take it into a 3D tracker and get a, a virtual cam uh, because, you know, actually I wanted to do quite a lot of stuff with this particular shot. And actually doing it that way caused a few difficulties for me simply because well we got a few things that are going to throw off the, the the 3d tracker we've got the girl moving around which is you know absolute no problem i just mask her out so we're tracking the rest of the stuff okay well we've got flowers coming in throughout most of the shot okay we'll sort of mask those out so they don't uh, form part of the the track as well but the biggest problem we've got is that if you have a look at all the flowers that are going along the sides here, actually, whenever uh, the girl moves, all of these flowers move in a sort of small, subtle kind of ways. And it's all this sort of stuff that actually throws off my, uh, my camera solve. So instead of doing it that way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mocha and Mocha's planar tracker uh, to be able to track these through with a bit more sort of um, air accuracy. So instead of tracking points, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to track textures. So I'm going to create a, uh, a spline shape here that just defines a certain area of the image that I want to use. Uh, and this is, this is going to be cool. But the big advantage with the Mocha Planar Tracker is that what I can do is I can set up multiple shapes. And so long as they sit on the same plane, you know, it's all going to add to the, the accuracy of the track. So if anything happens over here, if I set up another shape over here, let's find somewhere that's not moving. Probably around about in this corner here. Let's actually just zoom this in. So if we find a place that's a, a moving, not moving, which is going to be here, and actually I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do was add to my current layer. And we'll add another one as well. We'll take another shape and we'll add that down there as well. So now I've got three small shapes that are going to contribute to my, my big overall track. I'm just going to leave the uh, tracking uh, uh, parameters down here set to the default. So Mocha has a little look at what's going on and gives me a default settings for what it thinks that I want to do with it. I'm going to trust it. And let's just take a little look here. So as this tracks through, what you can start to see is that even though um, like small things start to come in and uh, obstruct various parts of these tinier shapes. Actually, the overall track as a, as a whole is still tracking and holding it fine. So you see a flower just comes right the way through that tracking area there. But because of the way that the, the, tracker, uh, the, the planar tracker works, I can have small things happening in certain areas here, but the rest of the, uh, the shapes are actually going to hold that up. So it's that sort of robustness that you really want from a, from, a, from a tracker. And it's not just, you know, all the occasions where you have flowers throwing at, uh, at your talent. It's also for, for when you've got things like motion blur or noise, you know, that sort of stuff. That's where being able to have that sort of robustness is really going to speed up your tracks. And we take a look now, we play this back. This looks like it's